Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're starting area two, the Vexen Volcano. Without further ado, I'm a poet and knew it. Let's start. Yeah, I think I said let's start twice there, but whatever, we're starting anyway. It's a volcano, but it's mostly a cave-like area, so it's kind of misleading in that way. Maybe we're on like the inside of the volcano or something like that. You know, making fried chicken and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> the there there is some elements of fire, like you've seen that fire enemy at the bottom left corner there, which can shoot fire over blocks. It can explode your bombs via that fire as well as kill you. So they're probably one of the more dangerous enemies if you're not paying attention to when they're shooting. When they shoot, they stop for a second or two and then shoot their fire. And that's your cue to run or, you know, bomb them from the side or something like that. Just make use of any opportunity you can, I suppose. Uh, and that's really all there is to introducing the enemies in this area. Those chickens are rather aggressive, but they don't seem to seek you out. They just seem to flail around haphazardly. So, they aren't really that much of a threat. You can just use a bomb to guard yourself because they can't walk through bombs. So if you see a chicken coming coming toward you, you just drop one like that, stand in place, wait for it to move, then run out of, out of the way. And that's the first area. <laughs> yeah, that was awfully quick. And something to say, because I keep forgetting to say this in every single one of the Bomberman videos for some reason. It's like, I, I know it, but I never find the opportunity to do so. It's that I have to actually process these videos twice to get the volume up to a suitable level. Because this microphone records really quietly. You probably heard that in like my Cave Story videos. As well as like Hacks 101 or anything that I've recorded on the computer or something like that. Well, I'm working on getting the computer recording quality as good as I possibly can. So uh, processing them twice while boosting the volume twice is uh, one of the ways that I'm doing that. It's like, you know, why go backwards in quality if you can? <laughs> I should say if you can avoid, you know, doing something like that. And that's what I've been doing in all these Bomberman videos. So they take a, quite a while to actually make, um, I should say, to process. It's not hard to edit them because it's just like I have to boost the volume to 100, process the video, boost it again in, in the second processing. Woo! What do I get? What do I? It's the dancing one again! What? Why do I keep getting the dancing one of all things? <laughs> but anyway, I have been super pleased with the quality of the Bomberman videos lately. Uh, especially this, uh, these right here, the pixels. I've got them so sharp they could cut you if you even look at them the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, it's... What? How did you dodge that? That... He's dodging every single one of my blasts by pure luck. His luck has run out, though. <laughs> that was preposterous, but I got through it. Um, one more of the crystal ball thingies right up there. I probably should have blasted that a little bit earlier. I wonder if there's any special items around in these blocks. There's a lot of blocks to blast in this area. Should I really burn time blasting all these blocks? I probably shouldn't blast all of them, but it's probably worth at least, you know, checking to see if there's... Man, I was... I really jumped the gun there. I should really check... Like, I, I recall there being a remote control item in one of the stage 2 stages, and that's definitely something that you don't want to leave home without. Uh... What? That is me not being used to the Xbox controller, still, because I don't, I, I should say, I don't play emulated games or computer games all that much in general, so that's why I'm not used to this controller, but I have it for the sake of when I do play them, which, as I just said, is not that often. Oh, this, that volcano guy, that is actually like a hard block enemy sort of thing that you can't do anything about. It spews fire, I don't believe that fire actually hurts you. But it can blow up bomb blasts. I'm not going to, you know, try and find out if it does actually hurt you. That doesn't seem very productive. <laughs> but if I accidentally get hit by uh, a fireball or something like that, yeah, then I'll, then I'll let it go, you know. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm not going to purposefully get myself blown up. But why did I think that was a good idea? <laughs> if I had the 
uh, a different Louis. I could actually kick blocks through there. And there's your first death because of something stupid. Um, I forgot to mention too, if you'll notice that those crystal ball things, they, when they fall to the ground, they actually blow up and or kill whatever is underneath them. So, uh, it, you can use them strategically to kill or speed things up, but don't count on it because you know you gotta kill an enemy, and you never expect to kill an enemy at at, at some times. And yeah, you get the idea of what I'm trying to say here. I'm not gonna really waste too much more time on this stage than I have to because I already had that dumb mistake. <laughs> So I'm just going to grab ye ol' spirit picture piece and collect as many coins as I can! Or maybe I should have looked for uh, remote control. <laughs> I don't know, we'll never know. And I have plenty of time to collect all the remaining coins, which used to be soft blocks. Maybe they're like, you know how you compress rock or something to turn it into a fake diamond or something? You get what I'm saying here, maybe that's what happens to the soft blocks, they get compressed into coins, then they become more valuable than just your regular soft block. Anyway, I'm overthinking this as usual, so let's start stage three. By the way, music is pretty dang awesome in this game, if you didn't notice that before. <laughs> I, I, it seems like the games that I you know, like have a fondness to all seem to have good music I swear maybe maybe that's what keeps me going here when I play games is the music no of course not it just maybe you know well-made games just also have good music as well I would expect that <laughs> but then again I expect any game would have some sort of decent music I wouldn't you know want to have terrible sounding music the whole way through the game that that would just be ear piercing and rest in peace headphone users <laughs> um, that's pretty much it for this small area here I've just been casually blasting my way through it no more stupid mistakes here please thank you <laughs> and I'm not gonna bother blasting the blocks I guess Ooh. Starting me off with the chicken guy right off the bat. Oh, not, you know what? I'm just gonna, yeah. Because <laughs> the chicken guy doesn't seem to home in on you, so I'm just gonna wait for him to go in the corner and then blast him like I did there. I'm pretty sure this right area is a dead end, so you wanna go there first. This area right here, not the one, you know, the um, minecart over there. Yeah, it's definitely a dead end. Because I remember doing that. Uh, way way back when I first played this game and I was like I just wasted time going all the way over to the right and I have to come back here to get the crystally thingies and because there's only that one path through here and oh this gives you extra time by the wait did, what I thought that gives you extra time maybe that's what the heck does that thing do <laughs> in, in the original Bomberman game if you remember it it uh, resets the clock Whatever the heck it does in here, I don't know. <laughs> I just grabbed the item and for all I know, it just gave me points or something like that. <laughs> I might have to look that up later or something like that or someone will tell me in the comments, I don't know. Um, that breaks apart the crystal thing. This block is really out of the way, so it, it may or may not contain something. It does not! Curses! So that was a big waste of time. <laughs> little devil guy there uh, in case you don't realize when they see you they dash towards you and that's their weakness you can get them to dash towards a bomb and get themselves killed and did I actually blast all the, all the soft yes I did I did blast all the soft blocks just as I thought and sparklies with that high-pitched voice rest in peace headphone users <laughs> <laughs> Area 2-4, start now. Oh yeah. We're jiving now. <laughs> hey, if they can use slang names and words, so can I. Uh, okay, so I, do I... Yeah, I probably want to... Because a lot of the enemies I see are on the tracks. Sometimes when you go on a minecart, it seems beneficial, but sometimes what'll happen is that you'll actually land on top of an enemy and get yourself killed, and that's not good. <laughs> so before you jump in a minecart, even though it seems handy to be invincible and to be able to kill enemies and that 
period of time, it sometimes ends up hurting you quite badly. <laughs> But I think the way the enemies are set- Oh yeah, I just got hit by the en I mean, got hit by the fire by mistake, and it does stun you. It doesn't actually kill you. So there we go, we have a confirmation. Please don't kill me, chicken! Okay. Wait, wait, he's on the track, and he seems to be attracted to the track- Oh! So close! Alright, I'm gonna try it again. That chicken is wandering around the track area, and I intend on getting it, and I think I'm gonna get it this time because it's on the track that, you know, in that one square wide area the whole track is composed of in that spot. Ooh. Um... That's... Should I bother blasting the blocks? I don't know. I don't really feel like it all that much. I've got so many power-ups, although I really do want the remote control bomb as well as to show off other items. I don't know how big this area actually is, and if I have the time to do it all, I think you can understand that sort of worry if you've ever played a Bomberman game before, and I just nearly got myself stunned there. Uh, I'm gonna blast that guy out of his prison shortly, and hopefully kill him. Uh, that works for me. He's starting to kill himself there, because he stopped in place to shoot fire, but alas, he should have ducked around the corner. Enemy AI! It's too bad. And yeah, let's just go. I don't really feel like blasting those blocks. I'm gonna trap the chicken there. Oh my. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Yeah, I guarded myself with a bomb there just in case he decided to turn around the corner. Like his little dash thing ran out or something like that. Oh, this is fun. Watch this. And... Woo! <laughs> yeah, you have to go here for this little crystal thingy. It's fun to do that little jump, it's uh, really... Well, I guess it's not that fun to do it, but it's more fun than other minecart rides because of that jump. Alright, I'm gonna check this last block before I leave. Ah, uh, that's fine. Woo! Uh, I'm gonna ignore those. <laughs> I don't really feel like it that much. I'm gonna trap them there. Uh... Oh, I just noticed that that fire blasted that soft block over there, so I guess the fire has more use than just stunning you and blowing up your bombs. It actually helps you clear out the soft blocks. I don't know if it'll torch items inside those blocks as well. <gasps> Purple one! What do you do? You jump! Okay, we have a new kind of power. Uh, can I jump over... No, what about soft blocks? I just want to check. I know I can jump over bombs. Yes, you can jump over soft blocks. Yeah, so you can jump over blo uh, bombs and soft blocks like that. Awesome, fantastic. And this is probably the best Louie actually, because of that jumping ability. You can actually use it to uh, jump over enemies as well as dodge your own bomb explosions if you're that good at timing. It takes a lot of practice, but it's a really awesome staple move to get down if you're in like battle mode or something like that. Your opponent will never expect you to dodge a bomb blast when you're trapped in a corner with a purple Louie. I assure you. Uh, I use that to my advantage. You can't stop me. <laughs> and I'm gonna collect as many coins as I possibly can in this time. I probably won't get them all this time because they're so far out of the way. I will. Yeah, I think I will. Oh, oh, go! Don't get stuck on the corners! Just grab the coins! Woohoo! And it's boss time! As usual, once the picture's finished, the boss appears. Yeah, it should be pretty obvious by now. New boss music! It's Pyramid Head from Konami's famous horror game series. Actually, no, its name is Pyramid Golem. I forgot what the heck kind of attacks you have. Oh, that stuns me. That is not good. <laughs> oh, that hurts me. That is also not good. Did not exp oh, oh, expect the arms to pop out. That is kind of a problem, and I probably should stay far away from him. <laughs> uh, I should also attempt to... What do those do? I bet you they split crossfire. Yeah, they're like little bombs that come from the ceiling. It reminds me actually of the um, second boss of Bomberman 2, come to think of it. And I also notice he jumps two squares forward. I could use that to my advantage. Don't shoot your arms, please. 
That would be quite devastating at my position. Oh, I got him! I got him! That was not hard at all. I, I just got thrown for a loop there and lost my Louie. Because, you know, I got hit by, hit by the arm. That could be taken so many different ways. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and let's watch the slice of pizza go into place here. And then I'll send you off. Bloop. Happy days! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we start the Slammin' Sea.